stay of my government in office, we have made it clear that a vibrant financial and banking sector is at the heart of efforts to ensure the rapid growth of the economy and the delivery of good paying jobs for the citizenry. If we are to put this country onto a path of progress and prosperity and thereby guarantee our future, the private sector and indeed citizens of this country will have to be its main driving forces. The role of banks to this end is critical. When banks do not become mere profit-making enterprises, but see themselves as active partners with government in building a healthy, productive, and robust economy, then we will be making significant progress. It is the very reason my government placed a lot of emphasis on reforming the banking sector, taking measures we deem necessary to safeguard the stability and prospects of the economy. It is evident that the measures we took saved the banking industry from a very dire situation, characterized by the existence of several weakly capitalized banks with balance sheets encumbered by a multitude of low-performing loans, pursuing bad business models with poor governance practices, and largely non-existent central bank regulation. These measures save not only the deposits of some one and a half million Ghanaians, their businesses and the people they employ, but also minimize job losses in the banking sector. According to the March 2019 Banking Sector Report of the Bank of Ghana, and I quote, an assessment of the banking sector's performance during the first two months of 2019 showed a well-capitalized, profitable, liquid, and stable sector with strong prospects for increased financial intermediation, unquote. Indeed, at the end of the first quarter of 2019, the banking industry performance in total assets, total deposits, and net loans and advances all saw positive growth. Government will continue to work and build a durable financial sector, with Ghanaian banks hopefully leading the charge. We will work with financial institutions and regulators to promote digital finance and mobile money usage and thereby help formalize the Ghanaian economy. Already, mobile money penetration in Ghana is the second highest in Africa. And with reforms to our payment system, we anticipate that Ghana will have a strong competitive edge in the region for financial innovation and access to credit. We're also working hard to, to reduce interest rates and our efforts have yielded some modest successes. 